good morning students today we are going to see the topics in the course cs8603 distributed systems so last class we have discussed about distributed mutual exclusion algorithm lempert algorithm today we are going to discuss about the second algorithm that is rickard aharwala algorithm what are the objectives of this video presentation means we are going to implement an algorithm for distributed mutual exclusion and we are going to know about the advantages disadvantages and the performance of rickard aharwala algorithm so the topic is rickard aharwala algorithm rickard aharwala algorithm is an algorithm for distributed mutual exclusion and it is proposed by glen rickard and ashok agarwala it is an extension and optimization of previous algorithm that is lempert distributed mutual exclusion algorithm since it is an extension of the previous algorithm it also comes under permission based approach for implementing the mutual exclusion but what's the difference between the first and second algorithm means in the first algorithm we need three messages request reply and release whereas in this algorithm only two messages are needed request and reply and we assume that all the communication channels are following fifo order that is first in first out order like the lempert algorithm here also the time stamp is ordered time stamp is used to order the critical section request by using the time stamp you can determine the priority of the critical section request always we have to give the higher priority to smaller time stamp like in lempert algorithm so the execution of critical section request is always in the order of the time stamp like the lempert algorithm here also we have three steps requesting the critical section releasing the critical section and executing the critical section so to enter the critical section what are the steps we needed for example if the site si wants to enter the critical section first it sends a time stamped request message to all the other sites that is it is broadcasting a time stamped request message to all the other sites when the other site sj receives the request message from the site si immediately it sends a reply message to that site if and only if the site sj is neither requesting nor currently executing the critical section if in the case si sj is also wants to enter the critical section the time stamp of si's request must be minimum in its own request otherwise the request is deferred by the site sj it is very important it is the difference between the first algorithm and the second algorithm deferring the critical section request it won't send the reply the request is deferred by the site sj it is stopped by the site it is delayed by the site sj to execute the critical section the site si must receive the reply message from all the other sites after executing the critical section si own sends the release message to all the other sites but it sends a reply message to all the delayed request it is also the difference between the first algorithm and the second algorithm so once again the first step that is entering the critical section is very same as the lempert algorithm si sends a time stamped request to all the other sites when sj receives the request message either it can reply the message or it can delay the reply okay we have two choices to execute the critical section si should get a reply message from all the other sites to release the critical section si sends the reply message to all the delayed request if any so that's about the rickard aharwala algorithm 
the message complexity of this algorithm is 2 into n minus 1. So that is we require 2 into n minus 1 messages that is n minus 1 request messages and n minus 1 reply messages. The drawbacks of this algorithm is again it is unreliable approach. The performance of this algorithm is the synchronization delay is equal to the maximum message transmission time that is it requires 2 into n minus 1 messages per critical section. So that's about Trikadaharwala algorithm. So thank you.